Today's Bible study is 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 12. For this reason, as Peter begins this passage, once again refers us back to the previous passage being the reason for what Peter is about to say. And for these things, and for this reason, Peter declares that he will not be negligent to remind you always of these things. He is stating the importance of grasping these seven qualities, virtue, knowledge in Christ Jesus, self-control, perseverance, godliness, but brotherly kindness, and love. And in seeking them with all diligence, as we've, as we've learned from 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5-7. through 7. But he goes on to say, though you know and are established in the present truth. In 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 12b. Even for those who have been believers or Christians for a long time, should never cease to be reminded of the life that we are to strive for in Christ Jesus. Not that these things need to be grasped by just the new believers, but by all who have been saved by the gift of God through salvation in His Son Jesus, whom He sent to save the world from sin, as we learn from John 3, 16 and 17. This is an example and promise of the constant reminding we all need to renew and refresh our relationship with God each day, in seeking to reflect Christ Jesus in our lives. This lesson is a great reminder to not grow complacent in our walk with our Lord and Savior Jesus. In these seven qualities being virtue, knowledge in Christ Jesus, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love, and in seeking them with all diligence, from 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5-7, through 7, leaves no place for arrogance, pride, or selfishness. These seven qualities are reflective of the life and ministry of Christ Jesus in putting God first in our lives and loving one another as ourselves. As we learn from Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 through 40, and John 13, 34 through 35, and John 15, 12. It is our job as Christians to reflect Jesus through our lives to all those around us and throughout the world, that through us, the knowledge of salvation in Christ Jesus might be realized by others. And by doing so, we are being even more diligent to make our call on election sure, and a place will be reserved for us in the eternal kingdom of heaven, as the Apostle Peter teaches us, in 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 10 and 11. Dear Lord, we all need to be constantly reminded of our need to reflect Jesus in our lives, that we would bring glory to you in and through our lives. Please help us to not grow complacent in our salvation, but that we would think of what would Jesus do, and then implement that into our lives in seeking to portray with all diligence the seven qualities that we have been studying in 2 Peter chapter 1. Plan in our minds, Lord, that it is not about us, but about Jesus and reflecting Him in our lives through our salvation in Him. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.